Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia if you're new here and I share beauty and lifestyle videos so I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and if you're not new then welcome back. For today's video I'm going to be sharing different ways to style a maxi skirt so if y'all want to see how then just keep watching. So this is the skirt that I'm going to be sharing today. It is from Mindy Mae's Market, and I actually found out about them and the skirt through just Classically Cassidy. If y'all don't follow her on Instagram, you need to. She is so cute. I love her style, and she is just so real and relatable. I love her. I think y'all will love her, too. I will leave her Instagram down below, and I actually reach out to them to see if I could get a discount code for y'all and they gave me one and I am so dang excited. So you can use code ALICIA15, all caps, I will leave it on the screen somewhere and down below in the description box if y'all want to go check them out. They have super cute stuff and really good prices too. I think this skirt is 28 or 30, it might be around $30. So very affordable. But last time I looked, I think it is out of stock, but they have restocked it several times. So hopefully they will restock again. If you're not, go follow them on Instagram. Also follow me and I will kind of keep y'all updated on if it does come back in stock because it is so dang comfortable and one of my new favorite pieces. It is super stretchy. The waist is super stretchy, so it's not too tight. It is very comfortable. I rode... A little over two and a half hours today and it didn't cut into me when I was sitting down and it's a really good length as well it has a slit oh I just ripped my bookcase it has a slit on the side and I absolutely love it it is a super soft material so hopefully it comes back in stock with for y'all but my discount code works on the website so not just the skirt so definitely go and check them out but you can do these outfits with any skirt. It does not have to be this specific one. Obviously, it can be a ribbed skirt. I know those are really in right now. It can be a midi length. It can be a flowy skirt. It doesn't have to be fitted. Um, it can even be a different color. If you already have one a different color or if you don't like black or whatever the case may be, it does not have to be black. You might just have to change up the color top. And this is the newest item that I'm going to be sharing with y'all. So if you already have a skirt like this, then you will not have to buy anything else unless you just want to. I will take any excuse to buy something new, but I wanted to share pieces that I already had, hoping that y'all will already have these pieces too. I feel like I've been talking forever, so let's get started. If you follow me on Instagram already, you have seen this outfit. I was trying to decide whether or not I should keep this skirt, but the first size I got was a small, and it was a little tight around the waist, but it did fit everywhere else since it is so stretchy, but I wanted it to be comfortable. And so I did end up going to just my true size medium. So if it does come back in stock, I would just stick to your true size. It is not too loose. It fits really well still. And like I said, traveling, it was still super comfortable and didn't like strangle me. When I was sitting down in the car. So this is a bra tank that I got at Walmart. I have been wearing this so much. You can wear it so many different ways as well and I think it's like $12 or $13. It does have the removable pads in it and I'm just so obsessed. So this is like the comfiest outfit ever because I don't have to wear a bra and this is comfy and then I just have it on with my white Converse sneakers. These are or were part of the Nordstrom sale. That's when I got them and they are finally back in stock. Last time I looked but they're no longer on sale but I think they're just $75 or $80. I know that is still pretty pricey but you can seriously wear these with everything and I'm about to wear them with the next outfit so y'all will see what that looks like but this is Super casual running around outfit. I think it'd also be a great travel outfit and maybe you just have a cardigan with you to throw on if you get cold. Love it. Okay, so this is the outfit that I wore today. I was out of town and it was just about two and a half hours 
but anything over two hours, I like to be comfy when I'm going to be in the car. So this is what I wore and it was super comfortable. I did wear my Birkenstocks instead of these just because it was raining and I didn't want to get them too dirty. I know eventually they're going to get dirty because they're all white. But I love this outfit and this is a cropped tee, but if you have a graphic tee, band tee, whatever that you want to be cropped, you can tuck it two ways. You can tuck it underneath your bra, which I do a lot. And so that can crop any t-shirt. So if you don't want to cut it, you can just tuck it like that. And I think even this one, even though it's cropped, I think it'd be cute to do this. That way it shows just a little bit of skin. So if you want to do that, if you don't have a crop shirt. And then another way to tuck it, if you don't want to tuck it in your bra, is put a belt right below your bra and you can tuck it in the belt. So that is a little crop hack. So this one isn't super crop, but I still think it looks really cute. I think it would look a little cuter if it was a little shorter, but if you're not comfortable showing skin, then I think this looks fine. Or you could even, if you have like a full, a full size t-shirt, if it is not cropped, then you can always do like knot it and do like that. That way it shows just like a little keyhole. And then I think that looks really cute too. How many times can I say cute? Probably a lot more during this <laughs> the rest of this video. This might be my favorite way to style this skirt. If you're new here, I love leopard print. It's just my signature. Leopard and pink, I'm obsessed with. But anyways, I just loved this pop of animal print. And it does not have to be this exact style or top. Any leopard print, any animal print, I think would be really cute. And I think it would also look really good with red heels instead of the black to kind of spice it up for maybe a date night. Or I think this would also be really good for a girl's night out. And I just love it so much. So this top is actually from a two-piece set from Blizzard Thick at Knoxville from years and years ago. So I doubt... I will be able to find the exact same one, but if y'all do like this style, it crisscrosses and ties on the side. I will try my best to find something similar or make a cropped leopard print, but if you already have a leopard print or animal print crop top, tank top, bodysuit, I think any of that would look cute. What did I tell you about saying cute? You're still going to hear it a bunch more times, I'm sure, but it really is. I love this outfit. Okay, I lied. This might be my favorite just because this is a favorite bodysuit of mine. I don't know if it's the best with this because the lace kind of goes down and you can kind of see that. And I didn't fasten it, so that's why you can see it there. But I love black on black. I just think it is so classy and this would be a great kind of sexy date night outfit and you could even wear this to work by throwing on a blazer. If you kind of dress up a little bit for work, I think this would be a really cute work outfit and with how comfy this skirt is or pretty much any maxi skirt that you get is more than likely going to be comfortable. So, I mean, you're comfortable, but it looks like you spent a lot of time putting this together and I just love it so, so much. And then if you have a different color, ooh, a white blazer. I don't think I have a white blazer, but that way the look super good with the black on black or just any pop of color. I have a hot pink blazer. I think that would be really cute. I don't know if you want to go that bold for work. I don't know where you work, but I would definitely do a hot pink blazer with this outfit. And then I want to show you one more bodysuit, but I wanted to show this one first because you could wear it to work. I don't feel like it is too, too low cut. And then with the blazer, 
it helps it be a little bit more modest or you can even just wear a black cami if you have a black silk cami if you kind of dress up for work that would be good underneath a blazer as well but let me show y'all that other bodysuit so I don't think I mentioned this but that last bodysuit I actually found at Ross Dress for Less I think two years ago so I don't think I can link that but I got this one off of Amazon and it is my absolute favorite so I waited for this one because it is a little spicier with the mesh and then the back look at this back I love the mesh and then you can kind of see the lace on the sleeve I just think this would be the perfect date night outfit I am seriously so obsessed I don't think that I have worn this yet I've worn it here on YouTube I'm pretty sure I've talked about this before but it is from Amazon and this is available so I will link everything that I can down below in the description box for y'all and then I will try and find similar options for the skirt as well but yes and then pink or red heels with this Normally I like to show y'all casual to dressy and those last two were definitely on the dressier side but I feel like those were outfits that you could wear now and then I wanted to share just a couple that you could wear going into fall. So this if you recognize it is from that three piece set the three piece lounge set I got from the Nordstrom sale. I think it is in stock again but it is not on sale anymore but I still think it's worth it because number one this material is so dang soft and you get three pieces and look I'm styling it going into the fall but I thought this was really cute it is a cardigan but I love wearing cardigans as a shirt and then of course you can always wear something under it and unbutton it but I don't have anything under it so I'm going to keep it buttoned, but I thought this looked really cute. And then I just threw on some booties because I love booties. That's probably hats and booties. Well, I mean, and sweaters and jackets. So I do like fall fashion, but summer has my heart. I love hot weather. But anyways, I thought this was really cute to do a sweater when it gets a little bit colder and then even into winter. But if you want, I said winter, really weird, winter. Um, but if you're wanting to crop a sweater, I would do the belt because sometimes sweaters are too chunky to tuck underneath your bra. And you don't have to crop the sweater, but I think it would be really cute. And since I do have a little bit wider hips, cropped things with fitted looks better on my body shape so just do what you're comfortable with and work what works for your body type something else i love about fall is shackets so this one i got i think maybe last year last year or the year before i got it from amazon i will say i love the colors obviously because it's pink but it is a little on the stiff side and isn't very comfortable but I still wore it all the time because it's pink and look at these booties they are also from the Nordstrom sale I think yes in my Nordstrom sale try on video I shared the and I thought this would be really cute and then I have another color of that Walmart bra tank so it does it's the same exact one as that black one it is just in this kind of tan color but I thought it would look cute because it's almost the same color as the tan in this jacket but I feel like this is a little dressier and then I have one more outfit and then I will wrap it up 
I probably should have shared this before the pink jacket, but I feel like this ending is very random anyway, but how stinking cute is this? So I didn't plan on tying it, but since it is a little bit longer, I don't really like how this looks together, so I just tied it. And I am obsessed. So I am probably going to be wearing this a lot this fall and even love it with my Converse. But how stinking cute is this? So I threw on that black bra tank again. And I love it. So this is the perfect transition piece because this jacket I like a lot better than the pink one and I wore this a ton last year but it's not as thick so it's very lightweight and it stays pretty warm in Tennessee usually all the way through August and September and then October is usually when it starts getting cooler. So a lot of times it'll be super hot during the day and then it will start getting cooler at night. So the perfect solution for that. I don't like that. This one is too bulky to do that. If you want to tie it around your waist, I recommend doing a flannel button up not a shacket because that is just that is way too bulky I feel like this is like middle school days when you didn't want to hold your jacket and not nowadays where it you're doing it to be cute does that make sense so I would recommend wearing it like this just tying it up and then you could also do this with a flannel shirt too but yeah I think this is going to be my fall uniform. As I mentioned before, I will try and link everything I can or something very, very similar down below in the description box. And comment down below and let me know which outfit was your favorite. But I hope this gave you some ideas to style your maxi skirt. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I make new videos every week. But I don't have anything else to say except thank you for watching. And I'll see you on my next video.